need to go. I spent. So we just got out of Walmart and then we went to GameStop and I just had to pick these guys up and they're so cute. Tiny Rick. Tiny Rick, woohoo. Um they did have they do have blind bags of Rick and Morty characters. Boxes. Or blind boxes, sorry, same difference. But instead of I really wanted to get Rick and Morty specifically, so instead of just buying like eight thousand blind boxes, I just got the plushies instead. This is this is the goat. <laughs> and back home we go. So I'm back home. Um, I kind of settled down and ate something really quick and my studio is a mess again. I cannot keep it clean for like two seconds, but I decided that I would start painting. So just, just watching some animus. I think I'm going to change that room. Not a huge fan of how it turned out, and right now I'm working on the stripes, and that's pretty much it. It's just going to take me a good couple of layers, and I bought some spray paint, wherever that is, somewhere, um, for the outside of the house, so I don't use up this entire thing of paint, like I did the last one. So I just got done filming tomorrow's video, and I, I don't know how much more projecting stuff I'm going to do because it is already, oh gosh, it's already 10 o'clock. This lighting is terrible. Um, oh, much better. Now I don't have a unibrow and terrible, terrible bags under my eyes. Now I only have moderate bags. That didn't go well. <laughs> um, the goat is playing a video game right now, so he's the, get a little flustered with it. But I found my spray paint. Um, let's hope this works and there's enough to cover this entire back of this. Um, just just a reminder that this is how tall it is and I'm 5'10", so I'm a, I'm a good head length of, uh, taller than it. I need to actually measure how tall it is. I have been working on this. Um, the lines aren't super even. Whoa. Uh, as you can see, I, I had to tape it to keep the white and black separated. But then I'm going to go through and then I'm going to tape over the white. So the, t the tape's going to be right here so then I can paint here. Uh, that's the hard part about stripes is I have to, it's a pain in the butt to get it all even. So I'm working on that. Um, this whole time and I've kind of been trying to build up on certain portions like I don't know if you could tell but like right here there's a dent so I'm going to build up uh, paint and then once I spray paint it hopefully it won't um, be as noticeable I might have to put in some like clay or putty or something I have a little bit of epoxy I don't really want to use it because the epoxy is like 20 bucks it's the uh, two-part epoxy if you guys haven't seen her, I bought it specifically for dust dusting. Doll customization. Here's one of them. Um, but it's like 20 bucks for the both of them, which isn't too bad for epoxy, but I just don't want to waste it all on random goofness. And uh, I actually really want to use it for headdresses and uh, modifications. Oh, and I broke my my mixer thingy. I used this to mix paint. It was really nice. And I just snapped it. So that really upset me. But I guess that's just what happens when you're not paying attention. Oh, did I show you the giant thing of paint that I got? I know this isn't um, the best paint. It's a 32 ounces. <laughs> um, 
but it's actually pretty decent and it holds up nicely for it being like a Walmart paint. I think it was only eight bucks for that huge thing, which is a lot better of a price than, you know, how much is this? This is only 8.4 fluid ounces and this is around the same price as this and this is 32. So, eh. I mean, this the basics paint is a little bit better, but you know, I'm not exactly using it artist grade. I still haven't covered this yet. I don't I don't know if I want to cover it yet. I think I might wait to go to Hobby Lobby um to get more felt to cover it uh one consistent piece cuz I really like the feel of the felt. But I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop painting because I'm getting paint everywhere. Um, and then I'm going to uh, fix up the seams on this. Because as you can see, you can see my overlock, overlocking stitches, or my serger stitches, which, um, you know, is just one of the many things that I need to learn how to do better in my sewing. But that's why I sew stuff for myself first before I sew for other people. So I kind of cut myself off short because I had to go do something really quick. Um, but I don't know what I'm saying. Basically, I think the last thing that I'm going to do tonight is fix up a couple of my stitches on my Darth Vader skirt. And uh, probably go to bed. I probably won't even do that. I'm honestly just going to take my tablet into my room and then lay down and hopefully fall asleep. Hopefully. I took like three melatonin last night. Um, like the 10 milligram ones. So I had like 30 milligrams of melatonin in my system and I just was like, oh, why can't I sleep? Exactly that. Noises and everything. So I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Bye!